Welcome back to Teresa's Jen and I'm alive. I am so fucking alive and it feels so good because I haven't recorded anything because a couple of things. One, I was kind of fucking around trying to think like what could be my next video and I realized Girl, you got a bunch of palettes at BeautyCon. Why not fucking review those? Yeah, they've been out for six months, but maybe someone will listen to your opinion. Anyway, so this is the palette that almost murdered me. So it's called the Ocean Jewels Eye Palette, and it comes with about six colors that will cut your fucking eyeballs out of your head. And I'm not exaggerating. The mattes were fine. They're mattes. But these motherfuckers over here, Holy shit, for about three days, it looked all red and crusty, like I was I, I was just diagnosed with some sort of a zombie disease, and I was just living with it. Like, I was kind of a zombie, but I didn't turn into a full zombie, like half a zombie. Like, not enough to bite people, but enough to look gross. You know what I mean? No, me neither. Anyway, this palette sucks dick for days. Do not get it, do not support it. Uh, this, it, this is going into the garbage. I actually am gonna be doing a huge decluttering video, and I would donate this, but I'm afraid that it would murder people. And I don't want that blood on my hands. So actually, here are the other two reasons why this is kind of becoming uh, a little bit of a delay that I, I haven't been recording. I need a new bedroom furniture and my whole life is in complete disarray where I have boxes everywhere and I live in Queens, not a very big apartment. So where I do primarily film is my living room. If I could just show you everything, you would be like, <sighs> I'm, I look like that one woman on Hoarders that had like, I think all the chickens and all the cats. Well, I mean, I physically, yes, I look like her, but I really think like that's what everything looks like. And it's not garbage, it's 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 stuff, but I just, I don't I don't have any place to put it. And everything is like everywhere, like literally clothes are in the kitchen. I, I'm i just like, I, I haven't had a chance to film anything. And that's why it's also been a delay. But the most important thing is that the reason why this is a huge delay is because, Oh, Tart. Oh, Tart.com. So, Trend Mood posted something like, Oh my god, Tart, they dropped a whole collection. When I saw the collection, I fucking died. I laughed out loud, thought it was hilarious. Like, didn't you learn with the aspirin chick? No? Okay, you wanna make another rose gold palette? Fuck it, let's try it. So, of course, you bitch ordered a bunch of shit from the collection. I didn't get the whole vault because, quite frankly, I do love Tart brushes. But the, that thing with the fairy godmother, I, it's just not me. I mean, despite the fact that I'm wearing yellow today, my heart is black. Not so much for me. And I didn't get the blush. Because Tarte blushes is okay. When I placed my order, which by the way was like over 100 bucks, it was the eyeshadow palette, it was a lipstick, it was an eyeliner pen, and it was a, a concealer brush. So I also paid for expedited shipping. Because I'm a fucking idiot, okay? So Monday comes and I'm like, oh, yes, FedEx is on its way. But the guy gives me the package and I feel I automatically know something's wrong. It just felt too light. So unless Tarte discovered a way to make their palettes very slim and don't weigh anything, then I had nothing in this package. And you know what came? Literally just the fucking lipstick. That was it. And it, on the packing slip, it said that everything else was in there. So you bitch right here. I am a petty motherfucker that will stop at no end. So I called Tart up and I was all ready to be like, yo bitch, where the fuck is my shit? But the lady was really nice, actually very, very sweet. And she just kept saying, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, that must sound so bad. Like you, you opened the box and there was nothing there. And I don't know if she was being condescending now to think about it. Maybe she was just being an asshole. Well, regardless, anyway, she did an overnight shipping and all this stuff arrived actually last night, which is perfect. And then I got to test and try this stuff out today. Before we cut here, let's show you the stuff that I bought. Cause it's a, a chart haul or whatever, right? So this is the lipstick that I was telling you about, which I'll actually input swatches too in a second. The eyeliner, which is really cute cause it has like this little dangly little star doohickey, which you cannot see because I'm in focus, but trust me, it's there. The palette in question. Last but not least, this really cool crease brush. Now, this is the, the lipstick in Bare Bud. So that's Bare Bud. Which is currently on my lips. I have thoughts about that. But uh, neither here nor there at this point, so let's keep it going. Here is the palette which is beautiful. Now for comparison, I still actually have the Aspen Ovard palette. As you can see, I also, <laughs> side note, 
I'm a little psychotic and I, I'm so fucking paranoid. And I really thought when I didn't receive it, it's because Tarte saw my Aspen over video and was like, mm-mm, not today, girl, and canceled my order because I was like, fuck, fuck, they saw me shit talking it. But it's true though, but fuck, I want this palette. And that's what I really thought, but lo and behold, uh, let's call her Tiffany. I uh, was very nice enough to overnight my stuff, so thank you Tiffany, or whatever your name was. I don't think you said it, but let's call you Tiffany. Okay, so anyway, what was I saying before? Alright, so this is the Aspen Ovar palette. So I would say that the colors are somewhat similar. These obviously are more pinky and purple on the top, while this is more ten shades of white. You know what I mean? But uh, I really have to say, when I saw this, I got excited because this is what I wanted the Aspen Ovar palette to be. I really wanted it to be like this rose gold dream, and I was hoping that the quality was there. So I'm just gonna throw like really quick swatches on my arms and blah 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. This lipstick, right? I got it in the color Bare Bud. It's a double duty Beauty Glide and Go Buttery Lipstick. Now, I don't know why online it just seemed like it was a brown color. Like it was in the nude family, but it just seemed like it was tinted more brown. This on the other hand, not so much. It, it literally looks like lip gloss. Looks like I just put on a lot of chapstick. This is $18. It feels fine, but I can achieve the same exact thing with lip gloss and it would taste like marshmallow. I think I'm gonna return that. The second thing uh, let's talk about was this creaseless 
concealer brush. Looks very much like an Artiste brush. I don't own Artiste brushes because that's a little bit out of my price range and maybe one day I will buy one, but not any fucking time soon. So I was actually very intrigued to try something like this. It, it retails for $24. I don't like the feel of it. Like I expected, it almost feels like it should have some weight to it. It doesn't. Kind of feels light. Why am I jerking that off? I need to stop. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, gold feature. It has all these really pretty flowers on the bottom of it. Retails for $24, uh, very smooth. I actually feel like it blended things out. Quite lovely, quite nice. I feel like um, I like it. You know, it's $24, yes, it's steep, but I think I'm, I'm actually gonna try to use it a couple more times to see if it really matters, if this is actually better than the beauty blender that I normally use. I don't know, it's gonna be like kind of like a, a game that we play. But so far, I actually like this. So the next thing I actually tried was the uh, Tartist eyeliner. I've never actually tried this before, and I really like the cute little, uh, you see like the little, uh, little star guy? It's just cute little packaging. This, I believe, was this also $24? Yes, this was $24 in the color brown. I tend to go with brown because I have blue eyes. It just makes, it makes them pop. So one side you get an eyeliner, which is a very thin, very thin little guy. Kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D uh, eyeliner. And then you have on the other side, you have more of like a crayon, which is softer. And it's that guy right there. Now here's the thing about it. I like to think I'm an eyeliner aficionado for the most part. I know what works well for me. And usually 90% of the products run out of my waterline instantly. And I don't know if it's because I have super sensitive eyes, which could be it, or my eyes just know what's good and what's not good. I like to think that though. So I like to think that my waterline is a bougie motherfucker that loves lobster and caviar. So I know what works and what doesn't work, okay? Now, if I'm going to rate this off the crayon part, this, no, nope. Nope. I don't even think it fucking worked today. <laughs> is it even in there? Okay, so what I will say is that the crayon portion of it, it shows up, but then immediately it will disappear. And I don't know about y'all, but when I get an eyeliner up in my waterline, I want that motherfucker to stay all day. I don't want it to be skipping town on me. I need it to stay. I can't do this all alone. Even the eyeliner portion of it well, it's fine, you know, but it's just nothing that for me to kind of write home about that I need to go purchase this again. And for $24, I do like the fact that you're getting technically two different products. While if you compare it, I think to Kat Von D, which I believe is also $24, I could be wrong. Why did I bite that? Anyway, um, that's besides the point. I have nothing wrong with it. It was, it, it, it was okay, but not enough for me to kind of keep it if I can only use half of this. Does that make sense? Okay, last but certainly not least, I have the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette. Mmm, retails for a whopping $39. Before I get into my thoughts about this, I want to ask a very serious question. Who is this meant for? Anyone? You in the back? Nope, okay. I only say this not to be a dick, but we have unicorns, we have mermaids, now we have fairies, and you know, next week I can't wait. I hope it's like some fucking bridge goblin. That's the palette that I want. What resonates with me when I look at this palette is I think of Claire's, I think of my childhood, I think of going to the mall, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, which fucking pink bubblegum lipstick, Spice Girl lollipops, getting my period and my grandmother by celebrating a cake but telling my brother that it's because Mark McGuire hit the home run. Very specific, but true. You know what I mean? Like I have like all these really weird thoughts about this palette and I like it and I don't like it for that very reason. So this morning I wanted to kind of keep everything simple because I had a bunch of meetings and I didn't want to look like a fucking office clown today. I kept it very neutral, which is the one, the first video that I showed, the first sped up video, and it was fine. However, what I will say though is that I think it applied beautifully, it looks great. Later on in the day though, maybe it's because my office has the worst fucking lighting in the world, like the worst, where you could look like a 10 and then look like a two all within 10 minutes of each other. But I felt like there were certain parts where I looked like I had a lot of makeup on and then I looked like I had nothing on my face and I look dark, but that's my work shitty lighting. So other than that, but when I came home though, I felt like the makeup kind of held up and still stayed true to itself, which is fine. Now I did wipe that stuff off, but I kept most of my base there. What I will say is that you'll see this throughout the video, this kind of leaking has nothing to do with the eyeshadow. I just got makeup remover really close to my eye and that's why it's doing that. I have no reaction with this eyeshadow, which 
I'm the first one to tell you if I did. Now, the second look, I wanted to kind of use the other colors that I didn't get to use this morning. So I kind of played more with the shimmers. No fallout, or if anything, it's very minimal, which I really fucking love. If you try to use it dry, it does not work. You need to wet your brush to use any of the glittery eyeshadows, which is fine. And it smells so good. It smells like a fucking cupcake that I want to eat. <sighs> The other thing is that you get this really nifty mirror. I like that it actually fully goes back so I can actually hold it while applying eyeshadow. And in the mirror, it does say love, trust, and fairy dust or some fucking gross bullshit. And it has the word tart at the bottom. I will say though, uh, packaging wise, while it does resonate weird feelings uh, with my own demons inside, I don't like that it's just a magnet for fingerprints. The palette looks very dirty. I literally had it for a fucking day and it looks like I've had it for three years. So should you buy it? I guess that's really up to you. It depends on what you're looking for. I will say, other than giving me very weird feelings when I touch this palette that morphs me back to 1998, I will say that it works beautifully. I think there's no fallout, it smells great, it blends very well. I, I just think even for the wear test throughout the day, I had no issues with it. I think this is a great palette. Now the question is, is it boring now? In theory, yes. Yes, it is, because I feel like we all own palettes that have these kind of shades in it. And the reason why I picked this up is because I had such a bad experience with the Aspen Overard palette and the fact kind of comparing the two, I think that this is a way more attractive palette than Aspen's palette. The only real negative I have with this palette is how difficult to open. I feel like every time I'm about to open it, I'm, my fucking thumbnail is about to pop off and go uh, into the abyss. And that's what's scary. <laughs> and like, if you see my face throughout the whole video, I'm really praying to God that it doesn't happen. So the closure on this is not really um, all, are you, see, I'm not even fucking joking. <sighs> that's the only complaint that I have about this palette. If you don't have any colors like this in your collection, then I would recommend getting it. However, if you're only gonna get it for one or two colors, then I would say no, because it's not worth it that much to buy the whole palette. I'm very happy to say that this pleasantly surprised me and I think I'm gonna hold on to this in my collection. But if you really do wanna try it, I would recommend that Tarte does have a wonderful return policy. I guess that's about it. I know, right? I feel like this is, you know, I, I wanted to kind of shit talk it more, but I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that this showed me, you know, that it, Aspen over our palette was literally just a fucking fluke of a shit nightmare and that this is actually not that bad, so. All right, I'm going to wrap this up before I burst into fucking flames. I truly appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon for notification of my future posts. All right, so I will see you little pumpkins later. Bye.